Hello there, I picked up a few Pat McGrath lipsticks in the US last year and wanted to swatch them and talk through the different formulas. Pat McGrath is one of the world's most famous makeup artists, known for her edgy, dramatic editorial looks in countless magazines and ads and on a range of high fashion runways. I used to obsess over Pat's work as a teenager, models like Lily Donaldson and Gemma Ward always raved about her, and she was basically the mother of the makeup industry backstage. Although my personal makeup style is much more minimal than what Pat creates, I always appreciated her work for what it is, incredible artistry, creativity and skill. Luckily we can all take a cut of that creativity home because she launched her makeup Makeup line Pat McGrath Labs in 2015. I have one of her original Illuminator kits, I'll leave that review linked down below. Alongside her striking eyeshadow palettes, her lipsticks are probably the hero pieces. They're weighty, a bit bulky, they feel cool to touch, and they're in eye-catching packaging, just the kind of luxury launch you'd expect from Pat. Let's go from least to most intense in terms of formulas. Lip Fetish is a super sheer, lightweight, coloured balm that feels really smooth and barely there. The finish has a slight shine, but it's not sticky like some tinted lip colours. Basically, my dream sheer lipstick formula. Lux Trance is her cream formula, rich and smooth with a serious punch of pigment. Described as colour confidence in a single swipe, it has a satin finish that feels really, really comfortable, pretty low shine, so it could almost pass as a matte too. But Matte Trance is suitably titled because these are matte and seriously opaque. More matte and powdery than I'd usually go for, to be honest. These do come up a bit dry on me, so it's a lip balm layering job when I wear these. Now to the shades I chose. Dark, vampy, red, the usual suspects for me, but I feel like these are tones Pat does so well. In Lux Trance, I grabbed 35mm, a great deep burgundy dark berry look. Quite cool undertones here. I have dark hair and dark features, so I like playing with an oxblood lip like this and applying very little makeup elsewhere. Think Rooney Mara basically anytime she wears a dark shade. Moving on to Matte Trance, and this is Flesh 3, one of her most famous shades. Deep rosy brown. I love chocolatey red, browny rose tones, but this is a bit darker than I'd wear day to day, so I tend to sheer it out and it ends up looking a little bit like Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl, one of my holy grail shades. Vendetta appeared in my recent red colour mood video. This is a classic rich dark red, as dark as you can go before you steer into wine territory really. I feel like Lily Collins is someone who wears shades like this really well and lets the lipstick do the talking. Guinevere, described as blooded crimson, is a fraction darker than Vendetta, slightly more brown to it maybe. I bought these a couple of months apart on separate trips to New York, so sadly didn't realise just how similar they were. Need to stop falling for every dark red that crosses my path. McMenemy is the real dark horse here. Such a deep burgundy. Named after Kristen McMenemy, an American model Pat worked with and used to mix bloody burgundy colours for. Deliciously dark. To keep this matte trans formula lasting comfortably, I apply lip balm before, blot it off, then layer the lipstick on, smudging it with my fingers. You can add more colour, add more balm, blot in between and keep layering until you reach the intensity you're after. In the Lip Fetish Balm, I picked Wild Cherry because Sheer Red is my go-to daily shade. This adds tint in a really nice light way, a hint of cool cherry red that you can swipe once to keep it super subtle or layer up. Super comfortable to wear and far more low maintenance than a bold matte lip. For its ease of use and comfort, this is probably my favourite Pat McGrath Labs formula with Lux Trance coming in second, so I'll definitely be checking out the other shades next time. That's pretty much a Matilda starter pack for which lipstick shade shall I wear on a night out? Very familiar colour mood here. Pat McGrath is one of the most buzzed about brands in Sephora and it is very high end, so I'd love to hear what you think and whether it's worth the hype to you. Have you tried any of her lipsticks? Please share your favourites in the comments below. One of my favourite YouTubers, Michelle, is a huge Pat fan. She's made so many videos on her products, so I'll leave them in the description box. I'd love to try the eyeshadows next, so let me know if you have any of her palettes and what you think of the formulas. I'll be sharing the rest of the makeup and skincare I picked up at Sephora last year on my travels soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.